Incredible story. We can't wait to talk about that the next hour. Right now, we got Bumani Omar on. If you all have not seen or heard about this video, the Read a Book video, and I guess my first question to you as we come back, uh, Bumani, is was this um, video designed to encourage people to read, drink water, and to buy land, or was it just satire? It was just meant to be what it is? Um, both. Uh, completely both. I, I, I was trying to pick topics to expound on that I thought they would be universally accepted. You know what I'm saying? I thought there would be no one who would have a problem with me talking about reading books, buying land. It seemed to be really simple stuff. The idea was that in crunk music, and I'm sure there's some fans in, you know, in the audience who understand what crunk music is, all they do is repeat something. Um, you can repeat anything in crunk music. My man gave me the rules to crunk music. Uh, he was like, number one, you got to be repetitive. B, you have to be aggressive. And lastly, you have to curse as often as possible. Wow. You know what I'm saying? As long as you do that, it's crunk music. And, and our kids are buying it up. At least they were when it was really, really hot. Yeah. And so I was like, man, you could take that power and use it for anything. Absolutely anything. Here's, here's a challenge, though. This is one of the things that was said to me in radio. And this is about, mm -hmm. this is about how you break the rules to win. They told right. me, don't talk. Play a lot of slow music like all the other stations do, and, and you'll uh, win. I did everything right. against what they said to do, and we have right. more young listeners than most of the young stations around this country. Well, they tell you, don't talk and about politics, don't talk I, about religion. They tell right, us to do right. all those things. We talk about, have all those topics, things that people right. want to talk about. We talk about it in a very, I think, in a very uh, educational but still fun and entertaining way. Without the right. uh, M and F, M F, and everybody to death, and believe me, I use the word on a regular basis uh, in my stand-up comedy. But I think in that form, it's it's appropriate, and people uh, look to hear it. Not necessarily when you're talking to to kids. Let me I, know, I don't want my kids listening. We got to a that. bunch of callers, man. So many people want to talk to you, Kevin. What do you say, man? Hello. Hey, what's happening? Say hello to Bamani Omar. Hey, brother. All right. Keep up the good hey, work. Hey, how are you doing? Um. I, I work with students, and I think that this is the right approach because we working with today's students, and if you listen to some of the songs that they're listening to, we should really be up in arms about these songs. Not a song such as this with the message that's, that's appropriate for today's youth because we got a lot of lost youth. So this is appropriate for all youth or just black youth? It's appropriate for us, our all youth. For all you, in particular, black you. Really? Tell me, tell me why. Because that's what I work with, and we are really losing the battle right now. So you you think that if you use your method of teaching, and somebody else comes in and uses a, another method of teaching, such as Jeffrey Canada uh, in New York at Harlem Children's Zone, you'll have more success than he will. I think we need to cover all the bases. Mm. And what white school is going to take this approach? Okay. <laughs> what white school? Really? Yeah, I'm not. What, what white school is going to tell they white? They, what white parents? I don't care. Accept you telling their kid to read an MF and book. We, we, uh, it sounds like that brother and me. We, neither of us are in white school, so that's irrelevant to what we're dealing with our situation. You know something? I, as an MC, I got to spend some time and like rep my crew. You know, my crew are the police officers, the nurses, the doctors, the social workers, the preachers, the activists, the parents, the people who are in the trenches. And some of them, even even though they don't get what I'm doing in my heart, I think they understand where I'm going. That's why all these calls from people who are telling me they work with young people understand where I'm going. And I do too, you know, brother. I but how I, people I are coming out that... against the video that's against the video. Let me let me brother, take some, let me let me take too. some more calls. Hold on, George. Because we got a bunch of folks. I'm, George is hot. I love it. D Damon, how you doing? I'm fine. How you doing, Mike? I'm doing great. <laughs> George is on this one today, man. What do you say, Damon? Well, I, I, I like what he did. I mean, to be honest with you, the reason is appropriate for black youth and not the white so much because the whites, they already gone out buying land. They, they listen to that. But, well, I mean, they, they need to do something. They need to read a book. Y'all gotta be kidding they, they need, you, you know what? This is, kind of, this, is, this is kind of scary to, to us who are listening. Me. You all think this, you, is the, this, this is the best way to reach our kids. And to get our kids one to buy ways. land one and to read ways. books. Go ahead, Bumani. What were you saying? <laughs> One of many ways. There, there's the wow. songs. The songs. The songs about you know. I have songs without profanity about being an independent business owner. But that song is not going to, for some reason, I don't know. You, you know more about the industry than I do. Yeah. That song is not going to break the radio. Stand by. I got to bring him back, family. Reverend Al Sharpton. Hopefully, we'll be back with us so we can talk well, to him we about need this. To talk to Al about this. George, you my boy today. You are putting it I, down. This, is this song is going out. To Bamani, I love you, man. I'm serious. I love what you're trying to do in your heart, but I need you to think about what you're doing in your head, man. This is the Michael Bazin Show. Raheem Devon, this man is putting it down. Ladies and gentlemen, there are no curse words in this song. Listen. How good is the beat if the music is weak? So I went to the street with my knapsack.